Okay, for this project, I'm just using regular Red Heart Super Saver. It's a four-ply, worsted away acrylic, this one. And I'm going to be using a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I did one, I got some tails to hide on him, but so you can get an idea about how big he is. I like that. Okay, he's real easy. You want to start with the slip knot on your hook. And you want to start off with a chain of four. You can use the magic circle if you want. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first one to form a ring. Like that. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go and I'm going to do 12 double crochets through the center of the ring. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven and twelve. Now you want to slip stitch into the first double crochet to close that round off. Like that. And then you can pull your tail back here and it will make that circle, that center circle, a little bit smaller. And I'm going to start off with a chain one. This time around, I'm going to work two double crochets in every stitch, so I'm going to go back into the ex exact same stitch that I just slip stitched into and do two double crochets. One, two. Now I'm going to work around putting two double crochets in every stitch. When you get back around to the beginning, you should have a total of 24 double crochets. made it back around after putting two double crochets in every stitch and again I'm going to slip stitch into my first double crochet like that. Now I'm going to start on a set and I'm going to start with a chain one. And now I'm going to be working this in this very first the same stitch that we just slip stitched into and I'm going to go into it I'm going to do a half double crochet and in the same stitch I'm going to put two double crochets. So there's one, two. Now I'm going to move to the next stitch right here. In this, in this next stitch I'm going to put three triple crochets all into the same stitch. Triples. So there's one, two, and there's three. Now I'm going to move over here to the next stitch and in this stitch I'm going to put two doubles, one, two, and then a half double in that same stitch. Just like that. So that's his little head. I'm going to go ahead and end it by slip stitching in the same stitch that I just put that last half double in. And now I'm going to clip this yarn off. <coughs> I'm going to tie this. You can go back and hide that tail in a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to start his wings. So I want to count over. Here's the stitch that we were working in. We're going to start in this one right next to it. That's empty. We're not going to start in, but we're going to start counting from there. One, two, three, four. And the fourth one is where I'm going to start in. So I'm going to start. 
with a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to work back down this chain by putting a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to put a half double crochet. And in the last stitch here of the chain, I'm going to put a double crochet. Like that. And now I'm going to skip one stitch. And then the next stitch, I'm going to slip stitch. And tie that off. And that is one little wing. Like that. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the same on the other side. But now I'm just going to count down to one, two stitches. And I'm going to start in the second one. And chain four. Three, four. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook, half double in the next stitch, and then double in the last stitch of that chain, double crochet, and now we're going to skip one stitch and slip stitch into the next, and tie that off. Now you have his other little wing mane. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hide all these tails real quick so they're not in the way. Okay, now I'm gonna start and do his feet. So I'm gonna count now from this. Um, so I'm gonna count from the stitch right after his wing. Four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to start in the fourth one. And I'm going to start by doing a chain of three. And I'm going to slip stitch into the second stitch from the hook. Slip stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet in the last stitch of the chain, like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch back into this stitch. And now I'm going to chain three again. Three. Slip stitch into the second stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch again, back into the same stitch. Now I'm going to chain three one more time. One, two, three. Slip stitch into the second stitch. Single crochet in the last stitch. And slip stitch one more time, back into that same stitch. And then I'm going to tie that off. Like that. So that's one little foot. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Going to count down from the next one from my wing. Four. One, two, three, four. And that's where I'm going to start. Start my yarn. And I'm just going to do this one the same way that I just did the other one. Chain three. Slip stitch in the second stitch, single crochet in the last stitch of that chain, and then slip stitch back into the same spot that we started, chain three, slip stitch into the second stitch, single crochet in that last stitch of that chain, slip stitch back into the same spot. One more time, I'm going to chain three, slip stitch into the second stitch, single crochet into the last stitch of that chain, and slip stitch back into that spot that we started in, 
And now I'm going to tie this one off. And that is his other foot. Okay, now for his face. You can do it kind of however you want. For his nose, I'm just going to start with a slip knot on my hook. And I'm going to do a chain of two. And I'm just going to single crochet and second stitch or the very first chain. Like that. And then I'm just going to clip that off. So that's kind of going to be the nose. You could also use like, if you had felt, you could cut a little nose out of felt or something. But then I'm going to, that's what it looks like. I'm going to sew it on with my, with my yarn needle. So just decide where you want to put it. Just kind of up here in the middle somewhere. And then kind of just, once you get it sewed on, you can go back through the top of it once. I'm going to pull off one of these strings and I'm just going to use one to sew it on with. Probably just get it put on there how I want it. And now I'm going to go back to the top of it. And back through again. And then you just want to kind of hide these little, these tails in the back of your piece. Weave them in a couple times. You can use Google Eyes or something if you want, but I'm going to make these eyes the same way I made the eyes for the little bunny applique that I did, if you've seen that, but I got some black yarn on my needle, and you just kind of decide where you want to put them. Go up, and then I just go back down. Make a little bitty bump like that. And then you just kind of got to weave it in on the back. Like that. And then hide your tails. Don't pull it too tight or you'll pull that bump out or that little bitty eye. Just hide them. Okay. Now for, I was going to put a little bit of hair at the top. You can use orange or yellow or whatever. Probably just use some orange. Of that I just took a few strands, a few inches long, and my yarn needle. And I just picked like three stitches at the top. Remember the three triple crochets we did at the beginning? I used those three. And I flip it over, and then I kind of just pull my yarn through like that, and then grab both of them, 
and pull them both through. Pull a little knot at the top. And I do that same thing with the next stitch. Pull a loop. And then pull all three, or all two, uh, both strings through. And then again. And then, I just kind of clip them short. And you can use more strings if you want. Or you don't even have to do that. That's up to you. And then I'm going to hide these tails. There he is. That, that's it. That's all I do for him. And you can sew it on to whatever you want to sew it on. It's a cute little Easter project. Nice and quick and easy. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And check out all my other tutorials. I got a cute little bunny applique too if you want some more for Easter. Um, and don't forget to check out my Facebook page too. And until next time, have a good day.